Hello and welcome to the video. Um, we're back, we've been away for three weeks, so it's time to get on with some work on the van, which means I need to continue with painting the front uh, subframe. Uh, now I've got uh, two coats of undercoat on. So although it looks uh, painted here, um, unfortunately the other side is still black. That means I need to probably either drive the van forward or backwards to, to reveal the bit I've missed and uh, paint that. Also, I decided to rather stupidly uh, paint uh, undercoat onto the engine mounts, which, of course, because they vibrate, has cracked the paint. So while I'm filming, I apologise in advance for any noise of jets uh, flying around overhead. Uh, there's a big um, air show uh, just about, I don't know, seven miles away in uh, Cerny. Uh, the aerodrome de Cerny near La Fertile, which is famous for a massive... Uh, air show which uh, has happened for the first time since uh, we've um, got the vaccinations on board and uh, Covid is uh, seeming to be hopefully something we can put to bed. Anyway I'm, I'm digressing. Um, so yeah I need to roll backwards and uh, try to expose the, the bit of paint I need to, to treat. So I'm going to release the handbrake and see if I can expose the paint. It's all guesswork because uh, that's not quite enough. Right, I'll try again. Still not enough. And that one's an airliner flying over. Try again. Another bit more. Oh, this is getting to be a bit silly. Because uh, if you can see, if I'll take you over here. This side is fine, the black is exposed, and this side it isn't, so I need to go back a tiny bit more. This is going to be fun. Another quick look. Can't see if the sun's on the screen. So yeah, that's uh, probably a tad better. That's just a little bit frustrating because really you need somebody else to to look and tell you when it's okay. So uh, yeah, that's going to be okay. I need to prepare things, mask off uh, the rubber bits on the the rubber gaiters on the on the wheels and then put uh, a sheet underneath so I don't get paint everywhere. So uh, yeah, I'm going to get the first coat done on that. This is my rather haphazard uh, masking, which is falling off. There we go, on that side. Right, so now we need to find a dust sheet. And of course, with uh, moving the van in here over the holiday, Have a situation where everything had to be pushed back up here and I need to sort that out. That's a bit fun. Got um, some beige paint, hopefully, from there. So, let's get that underneath. The 
this is very amateurish because uh, yeah, I'll do it. That's it. Very amateurish because I'm so lazy that I don't really want to to bother with uh, masking things properly. So I've sprayed the other side and for some reason my phone decided didn't, didn't want to film that. So I'm going to film the other side instead. But uh, I think I'm I'm running out of paint and the hole is probably a little bit blocked. But it's been left for nearly a month since I left the other coat. So we'll see if I've got enough paint. I think it's going to end up with uh, just one coat. really struggling now with paint coming out there. I can't get my hand around the corner there. Uh, yeah, tripod's in the way. That's the sort of thing that always happens when you re spray something, isn't it? The camera tripod. Oh, we're really going to last a lot of paint, I think. It's not like it was really rusty in the first time I ran out there. That's all that's gone. Oh well. So that's that finished. Um, I think I'm going to just cope with having two coats of paint on two thirds of the subax on each side, and the last third is one coat. That's how it is. I don't want to buy another one um, just to do a tiny piece of undercoating. Plus, I'm going to give it two coats of hammer out on top, so uh, hopefully that will be enough. Um, so I'll leave that to dry. And then uh, I'll be back with the hammer eye if I've got enough of that left as well. So I know I was running low, uh, so yeah. And hammer eye is not cheap. Um, I think a tiny pot like that was something like 50 euros. And really tiny. Um, so yeah, anyway, next job, top coat. So we're back to things again. Uh, again, a few weeks later and uh, I need to, to get on with the, the top two coats. So the weather hasn't exactly uh, been brilliant, uh, lots and lots of rain and so uh, I left my dust sheet or plastic sheet underneath the, the van and uh, obviously it's got a bit waterlogged so I've, I've just left it really because um, unfortunately we had a, a bit of a tragic event to happen in between uh, me uh, doing the um, the undercoats and getting on with the top coat, which is sort of, I know, rightly so, um, distracted all of us from everything really. So I'll talk about that in another video because I don't really want to go into that here. But just you know, it's why while we've um, we've down tools for quite a bit, you know, not just me, but everyone really. So we're back to it now, and we're trying to try and get on with things. So the next investigation is to see if I've got some um, hammerite paint left and to do that I need to take everything out of the back of the van because obviously it's a space and so it gets used for storing all sorts of things um, including recycled paper that needs to go to the recycling bin in the village but uh, yeah and obviously the bumper so I'm going to start, start moving some of these things out and see if we can find some hammerite. So that's looking like the stuff I think yeah, that's the stuff that I use, but there's not an awful lot left in there. Might be enough to do the start doing my first coat, but I might as well get on with it, and then I'll have to go and get another pot. They're not cheap, these, these pots of hammer right, and of course I've got some brushes. So I must have been organised at some point, because everything's together. It's very unusual for me. Um, so yeah, there's my bushes, there's my hammer on it, better go on with it. So first things first, I need to get rid of this water, because that's not going to be very good if I'm going to be spalling around on the floor. And of course I've driven on the, uh, I've driven on this as well, so I'm enough to pull the van back. So as we've left the, the tripod in the um, house, and I'm too lazy to go and set it up, I guess we'll see if we can get it started.
it would help if I got rid of the chocks on the back wheels. Bit better. So as well there were a lot of water there. Um I'm gonna sort of bring the van in a bit more I think. So for me that's clean, I mean I've cleaned it a few times to do the, the undercoat but uh, just film underneath the, the subframe, Ooh, there's plenty of rust under that, I can feel it, there's one bit I didn't treat. The problem is is that the underneath, there's not a lot I can do about, about it because without putting it onto a, a ramp or something uh, I can't really see what's going on underneath the, the frame. Um, and the best I can do is just treat it with, you know, there's, there's a big patch of rust there under my finger and the only thing I can do is just give it a brush with some hammer right, I think because spraying underneath with a spray can is uh, it's not very easy really, you don't know what you're spraying at and you end up spraying other stuff as well so that's my excuse anyway so yeah, I'm going to carry on with the two top coats, it's all nice and, and clean and um, I'll just bodge it a little bit by putting two coats of amorite on the rust underneath here. So, unfortunately, it's right in line with the strut. And in fact, I've actually put undercoat here. Oh, I don't know. It's actually peeling off underneath. It's a shame, isn't it? But anyway, let's crack on. We've got about half a pot of uh, amorite there, so more than I thought. So basically I've used half a pot to do two coats on all of the protection bars around the edge. So whether that's going to be enough to do two coats on the subframe, I've no idea. Probably not, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how we go. So we're giving it a good stir and I'm going to use a, a small brush here to do around this bit because I don't want to paint things, but it wants paint. So already I'm going to end up painting the cable. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my, I've got a headlamp, I'm going to put my headlamp on so I can see what I'm doing. So I think that's going to make life a lot easier and uh, especially for filming because you can't see a damn thing. So you can see I started to put one coat on and it's going to be a rough coat because I can't, I can't really cover something white with something dark and make it all uniform but uh, I'm hoping just to do the two coats. This is going to be a very slow job, I think. So obviously I'm not going to film everything, but just give you some highlights. The problem is, is painting underneath this bit here where the headlamp is, isn't very easy. I think I should have started down there, really, right at the back. Ah, uh, get away pipe. Yeah, I should have painted down there first. I'm going to get um, paint all over my, for my forearm. So that's going to take a little while to do, and I think I'll just crack on with it and I'll show you the, the result when it's when the first coat's done. So as you can see it looks a little bit better now. I've actually got a little bit of paint on the aluminium strut, but uh, hopefully that will that will do for the first coat. So I managed to do about halfway down the subframe towards the uh, subframe even not subframe uh, towards the <laughs> towards the end bracket there, uh, which you can see. When I'm trying to get my bearings, my finger. Just that one there. Got paint on my thumb now. Great, brilliant. Okay, so yeah, um, so I've got to do the top end of the, this side, the driver's side now, 
and uh, I think that's going to be done for today. I'm trying to film without getting paint all over the cut the the camera. My phone is is brilliant. So, so if I can just try to direct my light in a in a useful place. So you can see I've managed to to paint all the way back to to there. The other part that's really important to paint is this as well, around the back of the headlights, and that's looking okay too. Now I've actually done part of this bar too. It's not really necessary because it's mainly it's mainly okay. It's uh, it's not really rusting that much. And the same the other side as well. I can just light it up. There we go. And then the side bars there. I'm not. I don't think I've done much on the back of those. You can see this paint is drying the same as the, the sidebars and I'm sort of wondering if it's really a good idea to put matte paint on the chassis. I don't suppose it really matters, nobody's going to see it, but it does pick up the dirt. Um, so yeah, um, I think we're about done there for today. So that's the first coat done and uh, I've got quite a lot of paint left actually. I'm quite surprised so if you can see that in there there's a good amount left there so I think there's been enough there to do everything so that's pretty good I hope if I didn't uh, actually um, put it on the little shelf there and then drop it on the floor because that would not be ideal so yeah very pleased with that that's very good so it's a lovely sunny day here in France today and uh, this weekend is going to be rainy so guess what I need to do Yes, I need to get on with this. Do the last coat. So that's the second coat done. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a quick show around what I've done and uh, point out a few other things I didn't notice or one other thing probably I didn't notice. Sorry for cutting my head off. So it seems that working from underneath is a lot easier and working in fact um, what I did wrong when I did the first coat was that I, I painted the, this top, top bit up first and then tried to paint down here which is obviously it's logical that I'm going to have paint on this and I got to reach right round there, right up to the back, right up to the back where the back of the subframe is, where it's just underneath the um, the floor in the cab. So obviously I've got paint all over my arms, and hammerite paint is not the easiest. And I just got paint on me there because I had some on the protection bar. Brilliant. So yeah, um, I got the order of painting right this time. So working from down below and then working upwards is usually the best way. Um, there's a few drips everywhere but I'm not really that fussed. The main object of this exercise is to actually protect everything including this um, front protection bar which uh, down here had a few signs of rust, just a few spots uh, down the bottom here. So the battery on my phone is uh, almost flat so I'm just going to quickly show you um, all the stuff I've done below. So if we look right to to the back there, you can see that's the just here is the limit of the um, subframe, and then just above it you've got the the arm for the rack and pinion rack and if I can say it rack and pinion steering, which is just here with my auto focus finger. So um, that's that's all well and dandy. It's all good. Um, I managed to paint all the unreasonable bits down below but looking up underneath the headlight here is a nasty surprise I didn't even notice that honestly it sounds ridiculous but um, you know you can see that 
it's rusty <laughs> for sure there's no no paint on it I don't think there's any paint on it that's really weird and of course it's covered in this sort of horrible sort of sandy earth that uh, we've got down near the Marais at the edge of our village um, and uh, that's all over the bottom of the van at the moment I need to give it all clean so that's going to be the next job I'm going to try to get rid of all this horrible crud and rust treat it and then I'll give it a coat of hammer on I'm not sure whether I want to undercoat it or not really because well I could do I suppose it wouldn't be too much of a hassle that's if I've got some left but I've got enough hammer on just to do that bit there so that's good that bit and the other side as well I didn't mention that so it's both sides under the headlight are rusty but as much as this each side you know it's sort of I think that's paint I can't really see it very well uh, yeah I think that's it's paint flaking off there so that's in about as, as bad a state as the the bar up there above that goes up here and round so that looks a lot better I'm going to show you that next so I'm very happy with these these bars here because they were very rusty Not surface rust but rusty all the same so that side's fine and this side is it's fine as well in fact I can see that a bit better because the lights on it but uh, yeah I'm happy with that, that's fine. So, thanks for watching that rather drawn out video that has taken some weeks to put together. It's ridiculous, but things get in the way and life uh, challenges us a lot sometimes. And then the weather comes along. So, I managed to get that done because over the weekend it's going to be very, very wet and probably for the next week. So, it's a good time to do it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in another video. Take care. Bye. Quand je reviens. Dans mon Nissan En veillant à mon lit Au fond de moi Mon cœur résonne